What's going on there guys? Good morning. Uh, the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this Friday morning, uh, December 3rd, 2021, about 9.45, 9.48 a.m. A couple minute difference there. Might as well get it right. Correct. Uh, it is the end of the work week, weekend tomorrow. Got the latest earthquake on the globe, a 3.5 around the Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic area looks like. It's a movement happening overnight with a uh, 6.0 earthquake around the South Sandwich Islands and also a uh, 6.2 around the Easter Island area. Some activity kind of ramping up here on this beautiful globe we're spinning on. Looking at the latest map here from the USGS folks. Shows that 3.5 down there. Looks like around the uh, Dominican Republic. 132 kilometers for that uh, 3.5. It's a pretty deep earthquake uh, in this region. Also some earthquake activity around the southwest area of Puerto Rico. The Puerto Rico Trench looks pretty quiet, at least over the last 24 hours. Uh, might want to watch all these quiet areas pretty closely because we have seen a wide swath of earthquake activity pretty much all around the Pacific Plate and a lot of areas around South America. The Atlantic over here has been relatively quiet throughout the Mediterranean as well. But uh, we look at the earthquake activity that struck late last night. We've seen that 6.2 earthquake around the Easter Island area. 10 kilometers uh, for that earthquake. Since then, we've seen a, uh, well, actually it looks like prior, just prior, a couple hours prior to the 6.2, there was a deep 4.6 over here in the South America region. Of course, this area has seen a swath of deep earthquake movement over the last few days. Uh, but following that 6.2, only one earthquake along the Peru Chile Trench, somewhat of a, uh, a surface quake at 15 kilometers. Definitely not deep into the Peru Chile Trench, but uh, looks like right smack dab on it, uh, just to the east of it there, kind of where it does subduct. Uh, but since then, we haven't really seen too much uptick in the South America region. Uh, further down south, we did see a 6.0 earthquake occur. Um, just a couple hours after the 6.2 struck late last night. This one uh, down in the South Sandwich Islands region, 9.9 .9 kilometers uh, right around the uh, southern end of the South Sandwich Trench. Doesn't look like it's a subduction zone quake, more of a surface quake up here. But uh, still kind of watching that area. We have seen a little bit of movement over the last seven days around this area and mostly confined to the southern end of this trench. Some of it uh, subduction zone earthquakes, uh, 41 kilometers and 35 kilometers there for uh, some subduction quakes. But so far 6.0 the latest and kind of away from uh, this area that we've seen over the last week. So kind of watching that region pretty closely. Look at this activity up here in the uh, North American plate. Some movement stretching across Oklahoma to the Tennessee area. Of course, a lot of this activity up here around Oklahoma, fracking operations around Quinton, seeing a little bit of activity as well in eastern Oklahoma, but a little bit of uptick overnight around the New Madrid area. Just a couple small microquakes, but uptick nonetheless. This 2.8 uh, striking in that area as well, just outside of the New Madrid area, but uh, looking at some specific earthquakes, some microquakes, right smack dab in this area of the New Madrid zone see here on the hazard map from the USGS those earthquakes sitting within that vicinity uh, throughout the New Madrid area. Of course around the Tennessee area, eastern Tennessee, North Carolina, this area you can see some earthquake activity as well with its own specific fault systems. Uh, we did see a 2.1 uh, near the Tennessee area, 9.3 kilometers for that earthquake. The New Madrid earthquakes there about four to five kilometers below the surface. Uh, what else we got here in the eastern part? It looks pretty quiet down south. Over here along the east coast, very quiet as well. The movement up here around the Idaho area kind of spawning out and spreading out a little bit across Idaho in, in a linear fashion through Yellowstone. Kind of odd looking uh, signature right there, kind of leading up to the Yellowstone area. Most of this microquake activity, but uh, activity nonetheless, right? did see a pretty deep earthquake over here around Silvergate. Uh, they say Silvergate, Montana, but this is technically uh, Wyoming right here. I'm not for sure why they do that. Uh, well south of the border, it looks like. 20 kilometers for a 1.2. It's a microquake, but man, is it deep. 
that's some deep movement. It has been reviewed uh, by seismologists, and uh, just I don't recall seeing too much deep earthquake movement in this area of uh, Wyoming. Yellowstone National Park, it looks pretty quiet for the most part. Let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on here in the Yellowstone area. Looks like a little microquake around Maple Creek. That's going to be that little spike here over here around the east. Uh, eastern part of the park looks pretty quiet as well. I don't see that. Uh, I don't see that deep earthquake that uh, struck around the uh, around this area of the park there on the USGS at 1.2. I think it's too small, too deep to be picked up by the US or by the uh, seismograph stations here. I just don't see it. Kind of looks like these guys got their things toned down a little bit too. Now that they've uh, come back online, it looks a little. Uh, these six pointers that we've seen overnight and this morning aren't showing up as significant as uh, as I am used to seeing them on here. So got to keep an eye on them. I know they are doing little adjustments on some of the seismographs on uh, the majority of them. You can see the loss of data here on throughout all the uh, all the stations. Is not a uh, I don't believe it's a cover up. You know to to uh, prevent people from seeing unusual activity at Yellowstone. It's just a uh, a um, uh, probably a, just an offline overnight when when the activity is low uh, to do some calibration and adjustments there uh, throughout the uh, stations. Uh, what else we got here along the west coast? Uh, activity kind of ramping up, staying ramped up along the eastern Pacific or the eastern Sierra Nevada and uh, Southern California as well. Getting a little earthquake activity within the last hour around the Brawley seismic zone and a little one up here around the Salton Sea area. Uh, no swarming movement to report yet, but that is an area that does see a significant swarming. So we will keep an eye on that region. Uh, here is the activity uh, that took place, place late last night. We haven't seen a whole lot of new movement in this area of the Pacific Plate. Looks like maybe a, let's see, what do we got there? 4. Point, that was a 4.6 pretty, uh, let's see here, what do we got? pretty deep earthquake activity there. That was, that was uh, late last night, I believe, yesterday. And um, for the most part, activity has not really ramped up here in this area of the Pacific <coughs> or the Aleutian Trench. But uh, with all the activity yesterday, the deeper movement, I still want to keep an eye on that area pretty closely. Some areas of the quiet zone that have been relatively quiet for the past few months are finally getting hit, uh, but not as, uh, as as expected. Down here along the Tonga Trench, some movement uh, kicking up as well. Some deep earthquake activity, including a uh, 629 kilometer deep uh, 4.2 that struck late last night. That's pretty deep. Really deep, let me tell you. It's movement along the trench area too. Looks like 5.5 so far in that region. Kermadec uh, Islands south through New Zealand looks pretty quiet for right now. Uh, in the areas over here around the west, Mediterranean Sea area uh, looking pretty quiet. We did see some deep movement, 4.4 uh, and a 4.0. Pretty deep activity in this region, but very typical of deep movement uh, around that area of the Middle East. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on things, folks, and uh, see how it goes today. It is Friday. Don't let your guard down. Uh, things might be at a uh, somewhat of a standstill at the moment, but uh, a lot of earthquake movement taking place over the last week um, with uh, at least four six-pointers over the last week, two within the last 24 hours here. So, um yeah, including that 7.5 that struck there in South America. Just a whole lot of movement going on. A lot of plate shuffling uh, hitting the planet right now. Uh, all areas except for it seems like the West Coast. I mean, it just it's extremely odd. It's almost like this area right here is, is uh, fused together, if you will. And just not moving at all. Yeah, we get microquakes and whatnot, but uh, San Andreas, South, North, Cascadia has all been uh, all too quiet. I mean, you got to you got to think something's brewing if we're getting all this movement over the past few months all over the place uh, and see lack of activity along the west coast. 
All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here, uh, enjoy some coffee, time to wake up, I suppose. Kind of cold out here in California. I guess I think we hit like 37 degrees overnight. Kind of cold. Not super cold, but for California standards, yeah, it's a little chilly in the uh, Sacramento Valley. Have a good day, folks. We will chat you guys a little bit later this afternoon, this evening, uh, for an update video. Till then, stay safe out there. Peace out.